Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host Ali Hammer and today we're joined with Mihir, the Chief Digital and Data Officer from APRA. Mihir, it is so great to have you on the show today. Can you start by telling us a little bit about APRA? Uh, yes, hi Ali. Um, so look, APRA AMCOS is a performing rights and a mechanical rights organisation. Um, essentially at the core, we sell licenses to commercial organisations that want to play music in uh, public places and we take that money and we pay that money in terms of royalties to the rightful owners of that music um, but we're also heavily involved in working with government and influencing policy for music copyright laws um, to, sure, to ensure that they're in the best interest of our members um, and we do a lot of advocacy work and uh, music industry work and, and support our members through their music careers. Wow, it is really cool to see a community centred around supporting artists. So can you tell us what the link is then between APRA and the cloud? Yes, we essentially ingest huge volumes of data every week, um, every month and every quarter on music usage. So this could be coming from TV, it could be coming from radio, um, but specifically, you know, most of the data comes from digital. So digital service providers like Spotify and Apple. And as you can imagine, it's just billions and billions and billions of records of streaming music. And we ingest that data and we do some very heavy, complex processing to find out who the rightful owners of that music are so that we can calculate the royalty payments and then pay the uh, owners of that music. Wow, that's so interesting. So what was the reason, though, that you moved your data to the cloud and why did you choose AWS for the journey? Yeah, look, it's it's essentially um, because of the volume of data we're ingesting and the heavy processing we're doing, you know, we really do need services that can scale up and down quickly. Um, obviously, we're mindful of costs. So with AWS, we know that we can scale up and scale down very quickly. Um, and also we know that we have the um, capacity to ingest the information we've got, store the information we've got um, and, um, and leverage the services that you provide um, in the cloud um, to do some of that heavy lifting. Wow, I mean, moving from a legacy system can often be very daunting. So what's next for ACRA? Is anything exciting coming up or what can you tell us about what's next? Yeah, so look, we've had a fantastic nine months um, last financial year. We delivered um, a number of new services to our customers, um, which has had great reviews. We've uh, we delivered a mobile app, a publisher portal, which manages our IDM system, um, an earnings insights portal for our members. And, um, and this year we're going to be launching a new website, also a, a new writer portal. Um, and again, you know, we're doing a lot of um, automation um, on the back end where we're using automation services which again are hosted in the cloud which are really streamlining our processes internally and making us more efficient as a business um, and you know a lot of this work is accelerated by the use of AWS and, and the services that you provide. Mihir it is so cool to chat to you and I really want to find out more about this business and how you utilize the cloud but thank you so much for your time today and we'll speak to you next time. Thank you, bye. You're most welcome. Thank you, Ali. Bye.